Hi guys, PJ here. Today I'm working on a 2004 BMW X5 and I'm going to be showing you how to remove the factory fitted radio from the vehicle. I'll also cover all the bits and bobs that you need if you're actually going to put a double DIN aftermarket radio in here. So I'm going to show you all the part numbers and all the pieces that you need. Sadly I don't have time to show you the full install, I'm very short on time today, but with all the part numbers you'll at least have a heads up and the difficult bit of how to do this. First things first, what do we do on this? Well, we open the flap. Make, press eject, make sure you've not got any CDs in there because it'd be too late when you've unplugged it. Pull this knob off, like so, store it away. We're going to need a TX10 for here. See that? Grab a TX10. We pop our TX10 in the hole. Get it lined up, they are a bit awkward. And turn it basically a quarter of a turn that's it it'll lock so it only moves that much quarter of a turn to the left and remove that has now released the locking mechanism on it and you basically need to pull it forward best way to pull it forward is with a plastic leverage tool don't use a screwdriver you would damage your trim and simply pull out you've got a locking tab on the end here to remove which is nice and simple we squeeze the tab in and the locking pops over and then pull a cable it's much easier if you're doing this without uh, one hand holding the camera i must admit but basically you pop that down and pull that out and that piece is then removed you'll then notice two more tx10s one here and one here go ahead put your tx10 in and turn those like so and then bear with me and then basically you're going to need both hands two fingers here two fingers here make sure the bolts are fully withdrawn so they do come out quite a long way you think you've undone them all and you haven't and then you just basically pull it forwards like so and you've got a quad lock and an aerial on the back to disconnect now i highly recommend you put a rag or something underneath it because the edge of this is steel you don't want to damage your your dashboard do you so i'm just going to unplug all that to remove the two connectors, your aerial there, you just push the pin in and pull straight out, like so. There we go, just get that to focus for you. And this one, as you can see, pinch the tab, the lever pulls upwards, it's normally down at the bottom here, so you pinch, rotate it up, and wiggle it free. There we go, pop that out of the way, and pop the CD section safely to one side. The way to remove the flap assembly is pretty simple. There's a little pinch thing here, push it in, yeah. And then the same on the other side, there's a little, little push out pin. You just push it in, it's like a plastic thing just here. And once you've pushed both of those in, you slide the assembly out like so. And that's your flap out of the way. That is all I've got time for to show you on this particular video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If it was, give us a thumbs up. Like I say, I've not got time for the full install, unfortunately. I'm very time restrained on this vehicle, but you do know now how to get your original stereo out. Thanks a lot for watching, and goodbye for now.